All right, we're gonna do a little facelift on the C400. This is the stock grill that comes with it. Nothing wrong with it, it's just a little too basic. Um, I ordered a GTR kind of replica grill here in all black that we're gonna swap it out with. So hopefully it'll be a relatively easy process, although you do have to take off the whole bumper to do it. So I'm not gonna detail a step-by-step uh, but I will highlight if I run into any issues and about how long it took me and all that. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, this is a stopping point for me. Um, it's like literally been 20 minutes and I think I'm ready to pull the bumper off. It was super, super easy. Um, I'll show you real quick where the bolts are and the tools that I used. Um, literally, it was just a eight mil driver. Uh, this is for the, the guards underneath, the shrouds. Um, these are the silver bolts here. There's only about eight of these, um, maybe a, a slightly more, but like that was maybe two minutes to reach under and get those off. Then I've got a hex head. Uh, this is a 25, 25? Yeah, 25 hex. Um, and this was for a couple of the just the bolts at the top of the grill and then you've got a bunch of these little clips there's three if I can focus three on each side um, those are really easy I just use a little pry thing and then a pliers and just pull those off and then what else there's only two bolts here and these are 10 mil 10 mil bolts one on each side after you get the uh, the guard and I'll show you where those are as well. So as you can see, here's underneath. I got the shrouds out. It was really easy. I mean, these things just like fall out a couple bolts and then you're done, really. Um, next, I came up, came to the tires. I don't want to show you my wheels because I'm going to do a video on those, but I came in here, pulled these, these guys out here. There's three here. And then after you get this thing away, there's let's see if I can get it here. Right here, there's the, the 10 millimeter bolt, one on each side. Um, and there's one more, one more little clip under here. Um, and that came up. There's three bolts at the top of the grill. And then there's one on each side hidden right back here. Now this is loose. And I'm gonna play around with it and see, but I think it should be able to come off now unless I missed any bolts, but let's give it a shot. All right, again, amazing, five minutes. Uh, you saw the time lapse. You saw me struggle a little bit. Um, there was another hidden bolt up here. So there's one on the outside that you can get to. And there's one more up here that you just have to know that it's there. So you just gotta pull this cover back a little bit more. I just didn't see it in the dark. One on each side. And then when the bumper kind of fell forward, I saw there's two more bolts here on each side. Um, you can most likely get to these before you take off the rest of the bolts. Um, for me, it was pretty easy. It, it dropped down and I was able to get to them. And then I just have one connector down here. You pull this little gray tab up and just give it a yank and it'll come right out. So that's it. Uh, so the whole front is off. I've been working on this for, I want to say, 40 minutes. And there it is. So um, I believe that this is pretty easy. This one just pops out here. Just little clips, and pull that off. And there's the back of the grill. All of that just to get to the back. I just wanna show these clips. So the, the connection point here is on the inside. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your flathead or little pry bar and you wanna pop it under here and then push, push up like this and that'll clip it down. And you wanna do that with all the connection points along the way. And then there's some additional black ones at the top where the, the point is up here. So you wanna push down 
like this. And you wanna unsnap the corners. So again, it's, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Um, now I've gotta get the star out, which looks to me like it's a very similar process of just snaps and clips. And um, then we'll put on the new grill. All right, for the star, it's kind of funny. You can see uh, in here, it's like almost a twist motion. So you, they, when they put it in, they twist it over this clip here. So you gotta kind of pry this up. There's three of them, one, two, three. I actually just got the first one started with this little tool and I just muscled it out using my fingers, keeping some pressure on the points and I twisted it and there it is, done. Let's, uh, let's see how it works. Well, it moves the star, it all comes apart. Um, so it's actually surprisingly easy. Amazing these cars are as expensive as they are. It's just a whole bunch of plastic. So let's put in the new grill and see how it looks. GTR style grill. Let's unwrap it. Let's see how it looks. Right. New GTR grill. GTR style grill, right? Just to black it out, make it match the wheels a little bit more. And we'll just put the star in. It'll be super easy just to spin it in. So line up all the little plastic tabs here. I don't really do this YouTube stuff, so I gotta remember to look through the camera, not at my fingers, so that I know what I'm actually filming. So actually, when you're putting it back on, it seems like you put it in from the front here like this. You twist it, and then you put the star so that it'll clip into place. Yep, so that was it. So um, what I did was I just set it on, and I just worked one of the clips, and then another clip, another clip. Just have to really kind of snap it down in there. But now it's nice and solid. I was worried at first if the fitment was going to be off, but it's it's really nice, nice and solid in there. So um, so here's the new grill. A look, it's going to match the wheels really nice. And give it a little different look. Hardest part is always putting these things back together. So let's see how it goes. here um, it's pretty easy you can see I was struggling with it a little bit um, what you want to do is you want to kind of put it all on at one time and then you want to just work your hands around you know and they, they may not click the first time but you want it to just be an even kind of like progression of getting these things latched in there and then you'll start hearing the pops which will click them uh, down in and you'll know it's secure so again not not that difficult Five minutes you know putting this thing back in um, sweating like crazy about 100 degrees but I mean if you can if you can play with Legos you can play with a Mercedes I guess it's all just clips and pops and stuff so all right let's put this thing back on the car this is the part I'm most worried about because uh, you know it's always difficult getting these things lining up lined up to uh, how it should look nice fitting and everything so I'll do the time lapse again and we'll see how long it takes. Alright, there it is. New front grill installed. Um, you could see me struggling a little bit with the bottom two bolts. I would say those are definitely the most difficult. There's like a rubber shroud in the way that you really have to bend back and line up. But um, that's why I said to leave the top bolts a little bit loose in case you need to be able to move it, which I did need to do. So I went in and tightened up the top. Just had to remember to put in this piece of leather stripping back. And now I'm going to go in and muscle in these, uh, I don't want to show you the wheels yet, but muscle in these side shrouds and the wheel wells put the clips back in put the uh heat guards in well they're not really heat guards because they're plastic but put the um i don't know wind deflectors whatever they call them back in and button it up and i'll show you the finished product all right all done 
We got the new GTR replica grill on it. It looks really, really good. It's really bright out here. It might be a little hard to see it, but um, it's nice and shiny. It makes the grill look bigger too. Um, but with the wheels and the combination, I think it, it really transforms the car. Um, hardest part was really getting some of the shrouds back in, getting them to line up. But again, if you keep the bolts loose and you just muscle them into place, put one bolt in at a time loose and then work your way around, wiggle it around, tighten it, and you should be good to go. Um, don't forget when you're putting everything back together, you include the, uh, the styrofoam bumper uh, guard thing and the weather stripping on the inside. But besides that, I think it turned out really good.